Welcome back. We are live. You are watching Justice take on Envy. Currently, Envy trailing by just three points, but they have control of this first hill. Going to rotate in about 19 seconds. But Matt, as we're getting into this best of five matchup, talk to me a little bit about how these two teams stack up. So, you know, it's going to be interesting with Justice playing with Sensor tonight. and No apathy. So Slack is going to be playing instead of Apathy, very uh, different look. We haven't seen this variation of lineups from this Justice squad, but I think they do feel that, you know, they need Slack slaying in the lineup as he's going to start six and three. But Envy doing a good job controlling the spawns in these first two hills. Rotator earlier able to control this red hill. You saw Sensor. He knows his role. He was cleaning up the time on the previous hard point. Slack not going to be able to break in here to escalators, but we got Moach getting into position with the ASM1. And, and Moach, this guy, his gameplay is almost bipolar. He's either amazing or he's struggling. What's he been recently? He's been pretty good as of late. You know, I think Moach coming into Advanced Warfare, there were a lot of questions about him. You weren't sure how he was going to perform. Uh, you know, historically, pretty slower player. You know, with a game that has such a you know fast speed, all this different movement to it, he's been playing extremely well as of late. You can just see him melting there, going over to Sensor, who's going to try and hold on to this hard point. He's on a three kill spree, five and two. Nice start for him. If you look at the Envy stats, though, no one positive at the moment. And in fact, the guy that's supposed to be your Slayer, Zuma, three and eight, off to a very rough start. We'll see if he can turn things on here as we have eight minutes left in the game. Plenty of time to come back. But Sensor, I want to stay on board with him and see why is this guy really kind of getting a lot of flack recently? Why is he considered the one you would want to bench? He's been playing uh, pretty well. Sensor, he's up and down, you know, has that rap for you know, no thumbs. That's kind of been a joke about Sensor, but you know, he does a pretty good job from an OBJ standpoint. You know, he has his games where he can play really bad. He plays you no know, Sensor-like, but mm -hmm. then he has his games where he goes absolutely huge. I mean, that Columbus Open, I think a lot of people, you know, they say, you know, Slasher, Aix played phenomenal, but don't, you know, discredit what Sensor did at that event. He played absolutely phenomenal. You got a three-man stack right now here in blue. Merc, he's in charge of watching the window and watching the door is going to be his teammate. You can see Zuma and Saints adding to that kill feed. Nice lockdown here by Envy on the third hard point. Doing a very nice job. They rotated for this hard point very early, Pucket, and I like that decision from them. Blue is one of the hard points that you can get a ton of time on. It's uh, pretty much a money hill. This would be the second one as well. You can hope this green flat pretty effectively, but it looks like Justice has those spawns right off the break. Nice two-piece here from Merc going for a third. He's going to get it. It looks like Name was helping out in that kill feed, and now Merc putting more pressure. He's going to find two players jumping up. He's got teammates up top, so really Merc just playing kind of that support role. Meanwhile, his teammates doing massive damage in the middle. Who's getting it done at Zuma with the two-piece? And you notice how many engagements Zuma has, and you know, leads the lobby in deaths just playing at that fast pace. It's exactly what I talked about. You know, Envy just needs to kind of come together and figure out you know, how they want to play as a team. And right there, you see they get a little bit too over aggressive, and it's broken pretty fast by Justice. Yeah, four man break, and you saw three inside the hill. I wanted to go to Sensor, who is the lone man trying to rotate early. He's not going to get very far. 10 seconds left on that top hill, so you're going to see about 85 to 102 as his hard points rotating. But I want to see what uh, what's up with Classic right now. 11 and 10. This guy, I feel like he's the un unsung hero amongst the pros. He just never gets the praise that everyone else does, but he's always performing. We never talk about him. That's a very good point, but he always plays pretty well. Always you know, has pretty good performances. Can't say anything bad about Classic's performances. And he's going to push this Biolab Hill through snow, and that's exactly what you want to do, Puckett. A lot of teams, they'll try and push out into purple, into that yellow tunnel, and then watch ice, and then you can push up into that snow area and make some damage. Justice trying to do damage. You know, it's kind of work in my brain. You got two Justice Clan tags. You got Moach, who's still rocking the Curse Clan yeah, tag. Yeah, he's got to change Ghost. that. I almost want to... It's been so confusing all season long. I almost it's like, just dude, send I'll, you the I'll money. Pay I'll pay for it. For it. Just, yeah. It makes my life a lot different. We'll, we'll pay pal you, man. They make like 150 bucks a game. They're doing fine. Yeah. Uh, nameless on your screen now for Envy. Envy holding on to a 30-point advantage at the half. We're going to see if they can extend it on the later parts of this game, but talk to me about green. How do you break it once your opponents are set up? Now, once you're in that first hill, I think you really need to push all the way around towards blue. You can get that blue spawn. It's very favorable. You know, it's that one team spawns there at the beginning of the game. You see them pretty much always hold that hill for the eternity of it. And you're going to see that the players from Justice are going to have to push down through ice and try and break this. And that's the hardest part to push from. Yeah, Merc is shutting it down. Nice two-piece there. He's finally going to fall. In fact, no one from Envy's close by. So 
Nice job by Justice. They still have 35 seconds left to work with Saints trying to break in once again for Envy. But Justice breaking Envy's setup with their first attempt. And as I say it, it looks like Saints is just going to bring it back. There's three oh, going dear. for the quad. That's a team if he gets the oh. jump kick, and he's going to fall just short. Justice, though, still applying pressure, but there are three MD players inside after that incredible run from Saints. Those top fives you were talking about, that definitely would have been up there if you would have came down and oh, drop kicked if, that if one If you get player. a jump kick, man, you're, you're in the top five for sure. Saints showing why he has one of the highest KDs in the league. And you also see Envy, you know, they're able to rotate a little bit early here. They're going to try and fight this from that green outskirts. And it's exactly where you want to push from because you can spawn the other team out in that snow area. Plug it, and when they start spawning out in snow, you can get control of the hill. They're easy players to pick off. They come out wide open. Let's go back to Saints as soon as he spawns. Here he is, my friends. 23 and 16. We were talking a little bit about how he's the OBJ guy on this squad. Putting up some nice kills here on BioLab. Very nice plays from him on file, <laughs> just making a push for this hill right here. They're gonna be able to take it, Envy. You see the players are gonna try and keep pushing this from Justice, but they'll, maybe one more attempt. I would have liked to see the player from Justice who just pushed into Biolab rotate over towards Blue, because Blue, if they can control that, then they can make a very close game out of this. Classic trying to do some last minute damage. 10 seconds left on this hard point. This will bring them to about 140. Still will be trailing by 34 points though, so the next rotation, Really going to be key. Slacked on your screen is going to be the man making the moves into blue. Looking at top of the crates, always a player there. One in the window was just hanging out, unable to finish him. Moach now fighting for hill control. Classic's going to fall just outside. It's all up to sensor now to break in. Should wait for his teammates here, and it looks like that's the game plan. Nameless and Zuma right there went huge. And notice Nameless had actually switched to the ASM1 to use right here to try and break this hill, and that's a great play out of him. Very heads up from Nameless. 50 point advantage now for Envy. After Nameless and Zuma take over Blue, that number will continue to climb as you have Zuma watching the window, now switching over, watching the back door. Nice two piece here. More players gonna be pushing through the window, just patiently waiting, putting down long range shots, gonna call out to his teammate, gonna have more pressure from the left, but Zuma doing a phenomenal job. He is on a six kill spree here from Blue. Here's the thing about Zuma, Puckett. Remember at the beginning of the game, we said he was struggling. I think yeah, he was like you know, three and nine. Three and nine or three and 10. Right now, getting all the way back up to even crushing in this second rotation of hills. And that's really what's blown the game open for Envy. Two minutes left, and I don't even know if we're going to get to the zero mark on that clock. I think Envy could lock it up there. 22 points away, 49 seconds left on this top green hill. And it looks like Moach, though, is going to come in and cause some problems. The question is, will they be able to get every second left? Because that's basically what Justice is looking at if they want to win this game. It's going to be very difficult because going into this next hill, they might be able to get the full thing over here on green, but you see two blue arrows on the minimap over in that Biolab area. If Envy just sets up for Biolab. They should be able to hold that or at least get a contest. They don't even need to fight for this one. Classic knows he's got to get in. Running out of time. A minute 10 left on the clock. Trailing by a good 60 points now. And that will really make it one contest for Envy. And they have this all locked up. Sensor's going to milk the final seconds. Who's going to rotate to the hard point? It looks like everyone from Envy is getting into position. And that hill is going to rotate. They're there. This one about done. 17 seconds away from making it official. About done, though. I know this middle Biolab hill, such a contest fest. It's very difficult to stop players from just running in and just jumping in exactly like Merc, getting those quick contests. but. No justice coming back here in this last two hills, making this a very close game. The end result is going to look close, but really you got to give props to Envy. They started off pretty hot. They held into that green position, then really pulled away on the third hard point inside blue. They're going to run away with game number one. The final seconds ticking down. The question is who is going to finish on top of the leaderboard? Merc at 32, 35 kills for Saints, 31 from Zuma and Nameless locking down the bottom spot with six captures, 26 and 33. Saints almost never has a bad game, whether it's LAN or online. Definitely led Envy to a victory right there. Also, Zuma with a fantastic second half of hardpoint rotations. I mean, struggled a little bit at the break, but when you're a player as aggressive as him, though, that's bound to happen. It, which is really impressive because, remember, Slack was putting pressure on Blue. You had Classic supporting. Sensor was pushing in, and all three dropped. I think that was the turning point yeah. of the game.
once Envy had that second Blue Hill, they really just were able to extend that lead too far for right. Justice really to yeah. come back. Justice needed to rotate Blue a little bit earlier. They needed to kind of play for that. You needed to play for that Money Hill, get that full 60 seconds, and then the last two become, you know, it's a 10 second game at that point. It becomes a toss up. All right. Are they missing the slang from App? Let's take a look at our stats here from game at number one. Moach, surprisingly, at the bottom of the KD, 0.76 from him. He's really going to need to get something going there. Classic at 0.9. Sensor doing it right. 28-27. Well. He milked a lot of those hills as his teammates were trying to rotate. Uh, and Slack, you can see him always on top. 35 kills led the team also in captures and defense. Yeah, and then on the flip side for Envy, you had Saints finish at 36-26. Uh, and 26, Just yeah. a phenomenal score from him, so led the way for I'm him. I'm going to put up a 1.38. Yeah, Game one, not? guys. No big deal. We'll, we'll be right back. Game at number two is coming up next. Stay tuned for Search and Destroy.